performed such as the cover of Marvin Gaye's 1976 I Want You album. And the popular sitcom Good Times, Ernie Barnes's paintings have received international attention. I just love his work. It's so fluid. It reminds you of some kind of dance when you see it because it's so fluid in the movements of the artist. Gaidi Finney wants to share that spotlight with other African American artists. I mean, I want to make a difference in arts, and I want to inspire not just black people, but all people to see how great we can be. Finney is the executive director of the San Diego African American Museum of Fine Arts, which is currently exhibiting Legacy in Black. We want people to collect art. We want people to, to see it and visualize it and know how important it is to our culture to really look and have this in our history. It's important, very important. It's the reason that we exist. The exhibit at the San Diego History Center features paintings, sculptures, and other displays of fine art created by African-American artists who are either from San Diego or have strong ties. Oh. Barnes was a San Diego Charger, for instance. Walkadir Nelson was raised in San Diego and went on to have his paintings featured on the cover of The New Yorker and the albums of Michael Jackson and Drake. So he's really, really famous and from San Diego. So this is really typical of his sort of work with uh, the, long, the, the black kids and elongated arms and that kind of thing. But Finney says many African-American artists don't receive the same exposure. The thing is that they, they don't have a lot of opportunities to show their works, and in fact, as some of them pass away, we're afraid that it'll just disappear, that nobody will ever see it again. So Legacy in Black is an effort to preserve, showcase, and applaud the works of African-American artists inspired by San Diego.